A celebrated athlete wheeling more than 40,000 kilometers through 34 countries, he has raised more than 26 million for spinal cord injury research. This is Rick Hansen's Story of We. Rick grew up playing sports. His dream was to represent Canada at the Olympics. At 15, an accident left him paralyzed from the waist down. While this changed everything, his injury didn't stop him from anything. After university, Rick became a renowned international athlete, but this wasn't enough. Together with his team, he wanted to make a difference in the lives of others. At the age of 27, Rick set out on his Man in Motion tour. He had two dreams, to make communities more accessible and inclusive, and to raise funds for spinal cord injury research. Today, Rick runs the Rick Hansen Foundation, which has raised more than 200 million for spinal cord programs. 25 years later, Rick Hansen continues to inspire people around the world. This year, 7,000 people followed in his tracks to continue the journey of making positive changes in the lives of others through the Rick Hansen Relay. Rick Hansen, living we every day. Hey guys, wow, it's great. How you doing at We Day? One, two, three. Awesome. One, two, three. I just want to say what an incredible honor it is for me to be able to be here with you celebrating We Day. What an amazing opportunity to be inspired, to share our stories, to get to know each other, and to strive to be the best we can be with what we have, to make a difference in the lives of others. I feel so privileged to have a chance to meet so many amazing people like Spencer, like Mark and Craig Kielberger, and all of the participants here in this event today to have a chance to be able to learn. You know, and I'm often asked, what is, it, what is it about these people that helps them be the best they can be? And it's often reminded me of what it was like when I was 15 years old after I had my injury. I was in the hospital bed, strapped, completely helpless and immobilized, knowing that I could no longer use my legs. All of my hopes and dreams seemed to be shattered, wondering what I could do. I decided that I had to focus on what I could do. There were so many difficult times wondering whether I'd give up hope, but hope was the most important and the only thing that I had during those difficult times, to dream that maybe I would be able to walk again, to dream, more importantly, that I could live a healthy and productive life, and to focus with determination on what I could do, not on what I couldn't do. I asked a nurse to come in and strap a set of rubber bands on the side of that bed, and I started working my arms because that was what I knew I could do, one stroke, one push at a time. What I came to realize was that if I focused on that, I could set new goals and chase new dreams. I could actually learn how to use my wheelchair and to be able to get in motion again and to be the best I could be with what I had. I set new goals for the future and realized that I could dream about being an athlete. I could dream about thinking about any possibilities. And the most important thing was our attitude about what happens to you and what we do with it. That's what counts. That helped propel me with an incredible sense of gratitude to be a world-class attitude. My athletes that supported and inspired me were, were so incredible. These athletes were mentors. But my teacher, Bob Redford, my phys ed teacher, he made me realize that nowhere in the definition of an athlete does it say that you have to use your legs in order to be one. That I could use the chair, propel by my heart and my legs and move forward. And when I became a champion, I knew that that was the best opportunity that I could ever imagine, that I was able to be there only because of the gratitude of so many amazing people. So many amazing people. And what could I do to give back, to make a difference in the lives of others? I decided that what I would do is wheel around the world to change attitudes about the perception of people with disabilities, to try to create an accessible and inclusive world for everyone. Dreaming of something like that 
was almost impossible without an amazing team. My we, my incredible team, my coach, my cousin, and my buddy from high school, Don Alder, all worked with me to make a difference. We helped start on those very difficult days. We left Oak Ridge Mall, leaving through the parking lot, and it wasn't exactly easy because we all have goals and we get nervous, and we wonder if we can continue, but we have to start. And when I left that mall, I actually realized that we looked behind it and there was this motorhome going through the parking lot. And as it went underneath this tunnel, it was captured on national television. And what happened was there was this box on top of the motorhome. And they went out and they went to the top of the motorhome to lift the bar up so that the motorhome could continue. Check the monitor and see what happened on our first day on this long journey. There goes the motorhome. See you later, guys. <laughs> Boxes everywhere. You can imagine what it was like on national television. Some first step. This guy's going around the world in a wheelchair? Good luck. He can't even get out of the parking lot. <laughs> the second day on the road, I was injured. Tendinitis, ice packs on my wrists, elbows, and shoulders. The only way I could continue was talk myself out of the motorhome, get back into the wheelchair, and one stroke, one stroke led to another. The Great Wall of China, a realization there are no walls too big in life that can't be climbed. A chance to be able to realize those last dreams. Coming back home. Thousands of people encouraging me and realizing the dream and reality that were the same. But the end was just the beginning. Life is not a destination, it's a journey for all of us. Each and every one of us has to continue our learnings and growth. To think about the future, about the new possibilities, like connecting the world with social media to create a global network for spinal cord research. To connect thousands of people in a cross-Canada relay of difference makers who share a vision of a healthy and inclusive world for all. To be able to believe that social media has a chance to be able to engage and to magnify and inspire me and to be able to represent our country at the Olympic and Paralympic Games, that there are worlds for all of us that are accessible and inclusive for all. What is it that we can do to make a difference? Each and every one of us has goals and dreams. I want to leave you with one important thought. One day, I believe, that the wheelchair will be something you'll see in a museum. I also believe that here in this room, there are thousands and thousands of difference makers that can make a difference in the lives of others. You can succeed. Can you make a difference? Absolutely. Can, can together, can we change the world? Absolutely. Never give up on your dreams. Together, anything is possible. Keep on going. We day. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.